Like we all know, asteroids are basically small, rocky objects orbiting the Sun. Unlike the planets, they are smaller in size but are larger than meteoroids. Some astronomers believe that they were created at the same time as the Earth, meaning that these are rocky leftovers from the genesis of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. Revolving around the Sun like other planets, these asteroids are also known as planetoids or minor planets. Some of these asteroids even have their own moon, so they are pretty large indeed. The vibrant famed physicist Stephen Hawking warned us to be prepared for a supermassive asteroid to hit Earth. When it does, it will be an extinction level event like the one that knocked out the dinosaurs. But that is not going to be our topic today, except for the supermassive part. Because today, V Compare brings you the top 10 largest asteroids. And let's begin. Number 10 31 Euphrosine. Mean diameter 267 kilometers, 165.9 miles. 31 Euphrosine is one of the biggest main belt asteroids, found by James Ferguson on September 1, 1854. It was the first asteroid found from North America. It is named after Euphrosine, one of the charities in Greek mythology. It contains around 1% of the mass of the entire asteroid belt, but is a very dark body near the belt's farther edge. Number 9 15 Eunomia. Mean diameter 268 kilometers, 166.5 miles. 15 Eunomia is a very big asteroid in the closer part of the main asteroid belt, and it is the largest Eunomian asteroid. Like 31 Euphrosine, it is estimated to contain 1% of the mass of the asteroid belt. It is named after Eunomia, one of the Ori, ours, of a personification of law and order in Greek mythology. It was discovered by Annibal de Gasparis. It revolves once around the Sun every four and a half years. Fun fact is, in the movie Arrival, the alien vessels were based on the shape of this asteroid. Number 8. 87 Sylvia. Mean diameter 286 kilometers, 177.7 miles. The most unique among all asteroids was discovered by the English astronomer N. R. Pogson and named it Sylvia. After the mother of two mythical twins, Romulus and Ramus. And it was unknown to him that this asteroid had two moons. Rightly named this asteroid coincidentally but not one but two moons orbiting it, which was discovered much later. The larger outer moon is known as Romulus, discovered February 18, 2001, and the smaller moon, known as Ramus, was discovered later on August 9, 2004. 87 Sylvia revolves around the Sun once every 6.52 years. Number 7. 511 Davida. Mean diameter 289 kilometers. 179.5 miles. Revolving once at every 5.64 years around the Sun, this dark asteroid orbits in the main belt and its shape was determined by ground-based visual observation. It was discovered by R. S. Dugan and named after an astronomy professor at Amherst College, David Peck Todd. An asteroid mining company – oh yeah, those already exist – believes that 511 Davida is currently the most lucrative mining target in the solar system. Number 6. 52 Europa. Mean diameter 304 kilometers, 188.8 miles. The dark carbon-rich asteroid is located within the main asteroid belt, orbiting close to Hygieia asteroid family, but it's not a member. It was discovered by Hernan Goldschmidt via a telescope from his balcony. In Paris, while stargazing, and named after Europa, one of Zeus's conquest in Greek mythology. This asteroid is elliptical and shares a name with a moon of Jupiter. 52 Europa takes 5.46 years to complete one revolution around the Sun. Number 5. 704 Interamnia. Mean diameter 332 kilometers, 206.2 miles. At a mean distance of 3.9 astronomical units AU, from the Sun, it takes about 5.36 years to revolve around the Sun. It was discovered by Vincenzo Carulli and he named it after the city Teramo in Italy, where he was born. 
Because of its solid density, this asteroid is believed to be able to withstand many collisions within the main asteroid belt. It's still the least studied simply because it's very difficult to see. Number 4. 10 Hygieia Mean diameter 434 kilometers, 269.6 miles. Discovered by Annabal de Casparis, this extremely dark asteroid is difficult to see from Earth. There were speculations among observers that Hygieia once held water ice on its surface. The International Astronomers Union once considered Hygieia as a dwarf planet because of its mass and shape. However, the definition of a planet now excludes asteroids like 10 Hygieia. It takes about 5.56 years to complete one revolution. Number 3. Chu Pallas Mean diameter 512 kilometers, 318.1 miles. When this asteroid was first discovered by Heinrich Wilhelm Matthaus Olbers in 1802, he assumed it to be a planet. It wasn't until 42 years after Olbers saw the celestial body that Pallas was determined an asteroid. This was after many such rocks were found. The slow rotating asteroid is believed to be the remnants of a protoplanet, which is a body that never evolved into a planet but shows signs of the potential to have formed in a planet where the solar system was young. Number 2. 4 Vesta Mean diameter 525 kilometers, 326.2 miles. Initially, this asteroid 2 was assumed to be a planet. Discovered by Heinrich W. M. Olbers, this asteroid contributes about 9% of the total mass of the entire belt. It takes 3.36 years to complete one revolution. Collisions with other smaller bodies has caused pieces of Vesta to fall to Earth over time. NASA's collected significant data from Vesta. In 2007, NASA sent the Dawn satellite on a mission to study Vesta. Dawn reached the asteroid in 2012. Number 1. Ceres Mean diameter 939 kilometers, 583.4 miles. The largest asteroid is also the 33rd largest body in the solar system. When it was discovered by Giuseppe Piazza, earlier it was classified as an asteroid, only to be reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. It's the largest in the main asteroid belt that lies between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter and the only unambiguous dwarf planet inside Neptune's orbit. It's believed by scientists that Ceres is a surviving protoplanet. This dwarf planet takes about 4.6 years to orbit around the Sun. That's all we have for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like us to feature next. And of course, thank you for watching.